Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel and to another review. And today I will be talking about The Confessions of Franny Langdon by Sarah Collins. This novel takes place in the early 19th century and tells the story of Frances or Franny Langton, a black maid in an English home who is currently in jail after being accused of the murder of her master and his wife. As she can read and write, Franny decides to help her lawyer by writing her life story. From her childhood in Jamaica as a house girl, to her coming to England and being given, basically, to her new master, and the relationship she had with both him and his somewhat eccentric wife up until their deaths. Now, this was a very interesting book, a fast read with a unique point of view. It's not a story of a high society England, nor is it about the poor street urchins. On its face, it's about a black maid. But Franny's story is even more unique than that. You see, she has a black mother, but a white father. She's visibly black, uh, but she has very light skin, which in a way makes her kind of in between, never truly belonging to any one race. And it's more than just her skin color. One of my favorite aspects in this book was Franny's narrative voice because she is such a fascinating character. She started her life as a house girl, which basically means she belongs to a higher class of slaves. But she was taught to read and write, which is quite unique, and she became quite a bookworm and also even ended up helping her master in a certain research. And what's even more important, that she always sees herself as better than what others sees her as. Look, given her skin color in that time period, she would never be anything more than a maid at best. But her, her mind, her brains, there she definitely belongs to a higher standard and this constant struggle between two societies, these two ranks, they appear constantly in this book. And Franny being in the middle, from the outside she appears to belong to one side, but she knows she belongs to the other and she desperately yearns to be there. Now, another very interesting theme in the book has to do with uh, people's autonomy. Obviously, when we talk about slavery, and in this context, a maid is basically a fancy name for a slave, we talk about people owning other people and humans not being able to be their own person. And this appears both in terms of race, but also of gender. Franny immediately develops a friendship with her mistress, who is white and rich, but still belongs to her husband. It's so clear how she can't do anything without his permission, and it's made even clearer when she contemplates running away and starting a new life without him, because she has zero means of her own. And in those times, a woman alone can't really make her own life. She can't really have anything unless she sells her body, which is illegal and was thought of as immoral. And obviously it's the woman's fault because she's loose. There's constant feeling of quiet desperation due to the fact that your own life and fate is in the hands of someone else, someone who doesn't necessarily has your best intentions in mind. Now, guys, this is one of those fascinating books that one can analyze and talk about forever. But this is a review, so I'll, I'll stick to the basics. But if what I said until now piques your interest, know that this is just the tip of the iceberg. However, I will say that there is one aspect that I liked less about the book, and this is a love affair that was in the center of the book. I simply didn't buy it. I could understand the attraction between the two lovers and how they saw each other as a, let's say, a representation of something that they want, but I didn't feel like they really loved each other, which could have been a great realization, but I feel that the book aimed toward them actually being in love, and I just didn't see the, I didn't see the love. And that's it. Other than that, I love this book. It was so interesting and refreshing in a way. Look, we all know what slaves are. We know that 19th century society was kind of the worst. But here we actually see it more closely. 
The writing, albeit at time being a bit too flowery to my taste, really brings this world to life and really I have nothing to complain about because it does try to imitate the writing style of that time. And Franny as a character, as I said, was the best part of the book, despite me not really liking her as a person all that much, but as a storyteller she was fantastic and has such a unique voice. As an educated, smart woman who grew up as a slave, she represents both worlds and sees them in her own unique way. So in short, I recommend this book if the subject interests you and I would certainly like to read more of the same author. And that's it for my review on the Confessions of Franny Langdon. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to the world. Also, write me a comment below. Write if you have any recommendations for a book with a unique perspective of life in the 19th century. Guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.